Howdy, folks. I got seven different projects going at once, but I want to make an epoxy resin handle. I do not have a vacuum chamber to draw the bubbles out, but I'm just going to call this an experiment. Here's some uh, mold release spray, silicone spray. And here are some walnuts, jack pine unopened jack pine cones, a touch of moss, this is an experiment, two very tiny spruce cones, it's another jack pine cone unopened, another squirrel eaten black walnut shell, and here is a, this appears to be Austrian pine pine cone, and some chips of fatwood. Well, I still got tool marks, but I'm really happy. Um, I can't wait to uh, finish this. I'm going to put a coat of epoxy over this. I don't have any buffing compound yet, but I've ordered some for the next time. There will be a next time. I like this. I call it forest litter. <laughs> yeah, got some bad tool marks in there, man. I'm learning, getting the feel of it.
see that walnut? There's the bite mark of the walnut where the squirrel got in and ate the nut. And there's a jack pine, closed jack pine, pine cone. And then your very vibrant David Burke altar fatwood, along with some Michigan gold. The moss created some micro bu bubbles. There's your spruce cones right there. Right here. And right here. This spruce cone is closed. This spruce cone is open. And of course, the ends are pretty cool. That's from the pine cone. Austrian pine cone upside down. You can see the space through there. That's the bottom of the Austrian pine cone. And over here is the design from the walnut. It's time to fire it up. Let's pick out a striker. Got an itty bitty striker. Got an Austrian pine super striker three eighths. Couple more strikers. And there's a ferro rod set for Tommy Reddit. Striker. Ferro rod. I'm gonna choose this one. Man, ain't that a beauty? It's fired up. We can keep it from blowing away. Strikers are so sharp they dig right in. <laughs> <laughs> 